traders i hope you guys are well trading safe um we're going to cover xrp today it's been a little bit since we got an xrp update uh, if you guys recall from part four of our macro series on july 13th we said the mid-range bounce uh, could be in play uh, that was back here we were trading right around oh what is the price here somewhere around 59 to 60 cents um, is where it's trading and we said that you could see well over a 100 percent move off of a mid-range bounce from our uh, overall range, which our macro range looks like the. So we were giving this as a previous bounce area and looking at it at more of the same here and also had volume support coming in this region as well. So um, what we noted was you could see a move into that dollar and 35 to dollar 41 region before resistance is met and uh, it did achieve that. We'll take a look locally here. So back onto our trading chart uh, off that macro view from Bitstamp, this Bybit chart, because I trade on Bybit. Uh, this was the box I gave you guys for support. Reason being is they're just key mathematical levels for the price. Um, and then this bi-weekly level was our key level uh, on the bounce. So we've hit our targets dead on. So I actually never want to hear anyone say that uh, technical analysis doesn't work on XRP because it definitely does. Um, it does weeks in advance, in fact. So um, if you guys are curious what I think about XRP and range expansions, uh, that macro series from July 13th, 13th of this year, if you go back, there are five parts to it. They're three minutes long. I know that's 15 minutes of your day, but if you watch all of those, uh, you will definitely have a really good understanding of the price history of XRP and what it could potentially do in the future just based on uh, range expansions. So uh, what we're looking for here is we are inside of our high time frame range still. We are in that 2021 range, if you recall, which is our yearly range, right? And so overall, we could still see this move to $1.41. Um, really need to hold the current Current monthly point of control, which you will find coming in here for August. Okay, so um, holding above this level, assuming Bitcoin doesn't just absolutely dump or something off of resistance here, um, we could see a move back into this region. Then ultimately, you guys know I am looking for this dollar fifty-three to dollar sixty window, as there is a POC sitting there from our all-time high, or not our all-time high, our most recent highs uh, that I'm very interested in getting filled. So. Uh, that said, uh, if we lose this box, where might we go? We do have to have a plan for downside as always, guys. And for me, just looking at the ranges, uh, I think that the most likely target would be right here where this Q3 settles up. I would be, um, if you're a DCA guy, obviously I'd give yourself a fairly decent sized window. Um, I would just do something like this. This would be where I'd wanna start looking for entries uh, if we get strength in the price. Uh, anything below that guys, and we're looking down to 62.5 cents. I think that stuff is not really worth talking about while we're holding support, but should we lose that $1.6 to 96 cents box that I've given you guys, uh, that's where I'd be aiming. Otherwise, uh, we are looking up still trying to challenge into resistance.